Now we're kind of talking about what John Lake said about the tangibility of the Spirit and it having an, an actual interaction with the physical body, with the soul, with the cells of your brain, that the Spirit of God can actually saturate physically your soul and your body. Now, when the Spirit of God saturates your body, that's called living in divine health. Amen. You got that? Whenever the Spirit of God totally saturates the, the cells, actually the physical cells of your brain, now you start to walk in mental health. Right? You think clearly. You have the mind of Christ, and you start to think like Jesus thought. One, and I'll say this, and we'll finish and come back here in a minute. One of the things I learned, amazing, I was just looking at this in the back. i got a magazine back there that has a man named John McConnell in it. John McConnell was the founder of Earth Day. I don't know if you all know what that is or not, but anyway. He founded that way back. When he was a 16, 15 or 16-year-old 16 young man, he was the soloist at John Lake's funeral. He, he, and he ended up founding Earth Day later on. His dad was a Pentecostal preacher. And the amazing thing that I found out, and I'm just bringing him up because he was one of the examples, because I talked to him several times on the phone, asking questions. Uh, he remembered a lot of stuff from when he was a kid, even at that funeral, what went on. And the amazing thing about every, literally, literally, every person, well over a hundred, that I contacted that sat directly under Dr. Lake's teaching, Every one of them, when I talked to them, and some of them were in their mid, even to sometimes near close to, well, John McConnell's in his late 90s. Every one of them, without exception, had such a mental clarity that could remember dates, times, places, names of people that were there. Phenomenal. And, and after about the 15th people, person that I'd talked to about that and ask them, I started recognizing these people are giving me times, dates, numbers, names, all this thing. How many people were there? What, how big the church was? What was where, all this stuff? And I was asking them, how do you, how do you remember this? And the, it, literally, again, every one of them would almost, to a man, was start laughing and say, well, Dr. Lake used to drill into us that as we sat and listened to him preach, we weren't even aware of it. But the, the spirit of the words that were coming out of his mouth was literally saturating the cells of our brains and would cause us to have a mental clarity until we die. That's what he said. See, that's what the church... See, there are areas in the realm of the Spirit that the church... You know, we, we want to gather up and try to sit around and sing until gold dust falls. Rather than be able to have a mental clarity and a wisdom by the Spirit of God that the Spirit of God can work through us to impact lives and change eternal destinies. Yeah. Playing marbles with diamonds. Mm. Yeah. We want the flash, we want the pizzazz yeah, no. rather than the goods. Yes. And we need the goods. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So, we, that's what we're moving into. That's what we want to talk about some even during the rest of these meetings. So, Take a break. Let's make it as quick as we can because we're running out of time today for these day sessions.